What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a spotlight effect in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. So just before I start, I just want to say I'm sorry about the uploads this week, I've only uploaded two videos so far, this has been the third, so for the rest of the week you're going to get videos every day. So this is what we can make. We can actually make the James Bond intro from what I'm about to show you. That is if you put your mind to it. Obviously it will take some time. But this is what you can actually make with what I'm about to show you. Okay, so I'm actually showing you this with an image. But of course you can do this with a video. So what you want to do if you've got black bars, just go ahead and right click, click properties, click disable example and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. Now what we're going to do is right click and duplicate the track. So now you should have two of the same clips. Now from here, you want to put this opacity right the way down to about 18%. I'd say in between 10 to 18%. So you can go ahead and put this all the way down to what it look like, and it'll be like that. Depending how bright you want your spotlight, the opacity matters. So maybe we can go down a bit like that. So from this clip right here, which is the one that is going to have full opacity, what we want to do is go ahead and go to the event pan and crop. Now from here, what you want to do is click mask, which is right here. Check the box. Click the oval tool right here. Hold shift and drag out a circle. Now you can see as I'm dragging out the circle, it's not actually a circle, it's a bit more let's say egg shaped so you might have to adjust it yourself like I'll show you now just adjust it a bit so it's a circle like so from here you can see we have a spotlight but it's not gonna do anything as of yet so this clip is actually only five seconds so we'll see what we can do so go to the event panel crop again and now you can see here at the bottom we have keyframes so what you do just go along and choose when you want the spotlight to move. So it's at one second right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and drag this down like that. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it on this guy's face right here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it shows all of it like that. And now as you can see as I've done that, we've got a keyframe here. Meaning from there, it will go like that. And it will be a smooth animation. It won't just jump from there to there. So then you can go ahead and keep going along, and let's say on two seconds, I want it to move. Now, let's say what just happened to me, I can't select it. What you want to do is right click it, click select, and select all. So go ahead and just go ahead and drag it somewhere else. So yeah, I'll go to this thing right here. I'm going to go another to three seconds here, and I'm going to go ahead and drag it a bit bigger to this one right here. Like that. Maybe like that. And then finally, I'm going to go to 4 seconds, and I'm going to reveal the whole image. So, what I mean by that, I'm going to make sure that the spotlight makes the whole place light up. So, go ahead and drag everything out like so. And as you can see, the image is now bright. So, if we go ahead and play this back, you can see the spotlight is moving from different places. It's got bigger, and it's just revealed the whole image. Now, obviously, you can make yours much more better. My clip is only 5 seconds, so that is why it looks a bit fast. But of course, when you do it, you can do it much more better and quicker. Now, if you're wondering, does it work the same with text? Now, text is a bit different. What you actually need to do is use... When you do it with text, you need to make sure the text is actually an image. I'll show you very quickly. Okay, so as you can see, I've got text here and I've got a white background to it. Now, you can't do exactly what I've just done. What you need to do is actually click this right here, which is save snapshot file and make it to an image, so we'll call it text and now you can see up here we have the image so what I'm trying to say is you can't just go ahead and go here drag text duplicate it because it won't work you need to have it as an image okay so with that being said I'm going to show you with text real quick go ahead and duplicate the layer again, it's the exact same steps so go ahead and put the opacity down to about 13% from me and we'll go ahead and see what that looks like it'll be like that, so that's good and now what we can do is go right here to the event pan and corrupt 
and do the exact same steps. We're going to go ahead and mask it. We're going to go to the oval tool right here. And we will actually make it shine across. So make sure it's going to cover up all the text. And that looks like a good circle this time. So I'm actually going to start it off like this. Off the side. So again we have a 5 second clip. I'm going to go to 1 second. And drag it towards the middle. So around there. Then I'm going to go to 2 seconds and drag it completely off. Like that. Okay, and then I'm going to want it to come back. So I'm going to go to 4 seconds. I'm going to get it to come back to the middle. Go one keyframe next. And I'm going to go ahead and make it reveal casual savage. Like that. And if we go ahead and watch this back. You can see here. It's got the spotlight effect right here. And just like I was showing you earlier, the James Bond effect, you can see, you can do it, it's very simple. All you gotta do is put your mind to it and you can do it. With that being said, if you would like me to do a James Bond tutorial intro, then let me know in the comments below because I'll work on it and figure out the easiest way to do it for you. And maybe I'll give you a template as well. And yeah, that is it. Is that simple? That's how you do a spotlight effect. And you can see, you can actually make your own intro using this effect. So yeah, that is it for this video. Really hope you have enjoyed it. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page as I post gaming news and technology news daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I'll post daily. Check out my FIFA channel where I'll post daily. And finally, be sure to add me on Snapchat where I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow for another Sony Vegas tutorial. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. Grab a mic, kill the stage, yeah, second nature now Mama said I make a prayer, I told her I made a prayer